guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make professional looking thumbnails and how I make my thumbnails. This is going to be a totally free program called Paint.net. So let's get into the video. And if you'd like an example of one of my thumbnails, make sure to go check out one of my videos. I, in the last month or so, those are all pretty good, so that's a pretty good example. But anyway, let's get in with the video. So first you're going to obviously have to download Paint.net if you don't already have it. So just go here, search paint.net, click on the first thing that pops up, click on that little link over there, and then click download here, and just follow the steps and you'll be able to download it. So now you're going to need another thing called plugins for this video. I'll be telling you what plugins we're using as we go along, but uh, so plugin packs here, this is where you'll come to get them, and this is how you install them. So just follow the steps in here you guys, it's not too hard. And for fonts, I will be using Cartoonist Cookie. That's my favorite font at the moment. So that's what I'll be using for this video. And we're going to actually be making the thumbnail for this video. So it's kind of like Inception or something. But anyway, let's open up Paint.net. And as you guys can see, I already have a couple photos open. Those are just for things we'll be using in the video. So I'm going to use a 1080p image, which is 1920 for the width and 1080 for the height. But before we get into that, you're going to want a grunge background, just search that in Google Images and find one that you like. It doesn't really matter what color it is, I like this one, it looks pretty cool with all the cuts and the dark black and stuff. And I'm also going to be using the Paint.net logo, which I also got off of Google Images, so nothing too important there. Obviously this would work for anything you guys are going to do, and I'll be showing you some stuff that you wouldn't be able to do, or we won't be using for the thumbnail that we will be using for your images or whatever you want to do with this video so basically I'm gonna be making this thumbnail so let's get into this so I as you guys can see I added a new layer by going here I'm gonna click back on the background layer and I'm gonna use the gradient tool right over here this will make it so it can blend colors like that or something like that so let's undo that and to get your color wheel to pop up just click over here so I'm gonna be using a gray and white for my background so I'm going to flip them around like so, just clicking on this little thing here. And I'm going to go look for the middle with the radial tool. And just, doesn't really matter where the middle is, you guys. Just place it somewhere. You won't be able to tell in the thumbnail where the middle is, so it's not really too important if it's exactly in the middle or not. Just whatever looks good to the eye, you guys. So now that you did that, I'm going to obviously go to my next layer. And this, I'm going to start adding text. So I'm going to have my thumbnail say, custom thumbnail tutorial with the paint.net logo so let's get into it so I'm gonna get to my text selector cartoonist I'm gonna actually make my font 220 and let's go like so so custom and then I'm gonna hit enter thumbnail and as you guys can see I did spell it correctly I've actually had thumbnails where I've spelled stuff wrong you guys might have not have noticed but I'm just not paying attention when I'm typing them so that can be a problem sometimes so now what you guys are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get it to however close to the edge you want it at the top or whatever text you're using so I'm gonna say it's right about there is good so control A so the first plugin we're gonna be using you guys is align object which is all the way at the bottom here and you're gonna click it we're gonna go horizontal and that just makes it so that it's the same distance from either edge and then you're going to go up here where it says deselect, click that. And now as you guys can see, we can barely see the word thumbnail because it is in the middle of the white. So what we're going to want to do is go to your magic wand tool over here, go control, click on all of these. And then what you're going to want to do is make sure you have it at 69% already or just turn it up to 69% when you're done. So then you're going to go back to our gradient, we're going to click on linear. And I'm going to, for the first colors, I'm going to be using yellow and a bright green color to make it kind of pop. And as you guys can see, it became dark green. So what you're going to do is go to more, go to your V value, turn it all the way up, go back, and now you're back on your gradient with your linear and you're ready. So hold shift, it'll make it perfectly flat. Now I don't want green on the top, so I'm going to flip it around and we're going to get something like that. So I think that looks pretty nice. So I'm going to deselect not gonna do anything with that for right now gonna go back to our magic wand and do the exact same thing gonna control plus clicking on all of our text 
just because if we were to shift click it would select all the text on this certain layer so we do not want to do that so I think what I'm gonna go with now is a light blue and a dark blue I think that'll look nice so you're just going to drag your gradient up again and we're gonna go something like that I think that looks pretty nice yellow and green and blue and black or blue and dark blue so now that you've done that another plugin you're gonna need here is AA's assistant so that's under object all the way at the top just click it do not change any of these settings or it'll mess you up just click OK and now that you've did that you probably won't notice it change but in the end it'll help you out so just magic wand again we're gonna go shift click on the background same layer just on the background we're gonna go to effects another plugin you're gonna need object outline so you're gonna go down to object click on object outline now as you guys can see it just automatically added a little blue border for us now as you guys can see it doesn't really make it pop out too much but so to make it really pop out in the thumbnails and stand out from everyone else's we're gonna go dark black all the way up on the radius and the strength we're gonna set to 6 click OK and as you guys can see that makes it really pop out and if you zoom out it'll make it very visible from a far distance so that's what you really want in your thumbnails when they're down at the small size to be able to still be seen so now let's zoom back in here okay so now we have custom thumbnail now we just need tutorial and the paint logo but before we do that we're gonna go over to our grunge background or whatever background you may have chosen we're gonna go control C we're gonna go back to our thing and under the text so we're gonna add a new layer and then we're gonna take this layer and we're gonna put it below the text just that's simply dragging it and putting it under we're gonna hit control V and as you guys can see it'll bring this background up under the text you're gonna hold shift in the corner and drag it to the size of your screen so something like that you're gonna wanna make it fit pretty good it, it's okay if it'll be bigger but for right now we're just gonna go something like that we're gonna just drag this in here so as you guys can see now we cannot see our background at all it's just this weird gray cut up thing so you're gonna wanna click deselect now on the layer that it's on double click go to the opacity and turn it down until you can start to see your background again so something like I would recommend usually about 80 is what I normally do because as you guys can see it gives us the nice little black around the edges still gives us some cuts but doesn't make it look like totally distracting from the text so now go back up to your other layer click add layer now let's say for example I deleted my text on accident like oops I deleted my text what do I do just go back to the undo and it'll bring it back for you guys so now go to your top layer text and we're gonna go to tutorial I don't know why I clicked that again that was on accident so type your text tutorial now we're gonna want to do the same thing make sure it's not touching control a it now we're gonna go to object align it does take a while to bring up your plugins pack this computer that I'm on right now has only four gigs of RAM and I know RAM is not everything but it does make it a little bit slower if you don't have that much RAM so now what you're gonna want to do is go like that deselect you're gonna you can shift click on this one since there's only one word and not two so just click on a letter and hold shift make sure it's on 69 percent and now you probably don't want to use blue again or green again because it looked just kinda weird so you're gonna have to find some new colors I'm gonna be using orange and yellow and I'll give you guys a little bit of a tip here green bright green and yellow dark blue and light blue and orange and yellow are my three favorite thumbnail colors for text if you can I would try and stick around those I don't really know about reds purples and pinks uh, you can try them but they don't really look too good I've tried them before so what you're gonna want to do is just continue taking your text and now as you guys can see it looks pretty nice like that it looks kinda like it's on fire so deselect effects AA's assistant I'm gonna speed up just a little bit here you guys because we've done this already so now you've gotten that now we're gonna go back to the outline thing again by holding shift on the background clicking effects oops wrong thing sorry about that effects object outline we're gonna outline it now I'm probably not gonna do this for my tutorial but if you would like 3d text and paint.net I'll show you what to do right now so for this video we're just gonna move it down just a hair more 
we'll go align it in a minute here so there's a couple things you can do you can go to layers rotate and zoom and you can go something like that which will make it all spinny stuff like that looks pretty pretty cool in my opinion so you can do something like that if you like or you can go to effects this is a plugin by the way render add depth and it'll make it 3d black like that so that's a pretty cool thing you can change where it's from like how thick it is and like what angle it's from stuff like that it's just taking a while to render because as you guys can see so you can do something like that if you'd like uh, we might actually do that that actually looks pretty nice so, all right, let's take it down a little bit okay well we'll keep that in mind or my favorite one you can go over to here to look duplicate layer click it drag one behind it then go to move select pixels drag it in whatever direction you want so like so and then you gotta go to adjustments hue and saturation and turn the lightness down and as you guys can see it'll give you a really cool looking 3d text this is my favorite but the add depth one isn't too bad either but now one thing I would be careful about is if you click OK and you deselect it, if you zoom out it's gonna make it look kinda of funny. So the 3D text does look pretty nice though so we will keep that. So we'll go to something like merge layer down and then what you're gonna wanna do is just move it back up to the height you want and we'll go control A again you guys and we're gonna just align it again nothing too fancy here we've already did this horizontal okay so I've already given you guys some tips we've got nice colors we've gotten some 3d text going on zoom out still looks pretty good zoom in looks even nicer so now what you're gonna want to do is we're gonna want the paint.net still so we're gonna go over to our paint.net thing we can close this out we can hit control C and then go over to this layer and we're going to hit control V now here's the problem I've seen with a lot of people it might be too big and you're like oh no what do I do it's it's too big what you gotta do is you just gotta deselect the layer and then you gotta go to move selected pixels click on it hold shift in the corner and drag it down until it's a size that you would like so for example as you guys can see mine is still I like it this size so that when we zoom in we can still see it or zoom out I should say but now here's the problem we're out of space and what do we do so what you guys are just gonna want to do is if you run out of space just move your text a little bit closer to itself like so and then we can also go back to our paint and we can just make it just a hair smaller something like that and then we can go control a object align and it'll make it horizontally centered like so and we should go probably make our tutorial centered again too now if you guys do not want to make it centered you don't have to just go by what looks good out the eye when they're really small you probably won't be able to tell if it's centered or not I just like making it centered because I'm OCD on graphics but that's okay so as you guys can see we've added a couple layers here we got some nice text and if we zoom out it'll still look pretty nice so I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you'd like to see me make a banner an icon something like that I would be gladly to let's just try and get this video to how about 10 likes that would be pretty good and I'll see you guys next time peace okay guys so I'm really sorry about this but I actually forgot to tell you guys how to save your images that's a big part of making your thumbnails so not too hard just go to file save as you're gonna save it as a JPEG and it'll be all good there so why don't we do that quick JPEG save it already exists click yes click OK click flatten and bam there you go you guys so I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time peace <laughs>